chemical engineers work to improve the life quality of people, carrying out the necessary processes to transform the raw material into useful products in everyday life. We work in industries like food, polymers, cosmetics, oil, textiles, fertilizers, biotechnology applications, fuel generation, and energy. There, we must ensure that everything works well and that the processes are carried out efficiently and safely. For this, we know mathematics, biology, physics, computer science, statistics, fluid mechanics, material and energy balances, industrial plant design, simulation and process control, as well as chemistry. Chemical engineers can also be superheroes. They can work developing products to end starvation, disease and poverty. We can work to save the environment by developing technologies that reduce waste material or reduce acid rain, pollution and water sources contamination. Water is one of the most important natural resources that exist. It is used in domestic activities and everyday life and has multiple uses in the industry. Do you know that water is a universal solvent? It is used in many processes where it is part of the production chain as well as for cooling, washing or discarding processes. This is because it is an easily accessible and economical resource but above all it is a very important resource for our life. Colombia is characterized by being rich in water resources in the form of rivers, lagoons and with groundwater. It has an average annual precipitation well above the world average. That is why we are part of this cycle since we breathe, we use water in our daily actions and it is reflected in the products we use. In any case, the water used in any process returns to its origin, so it must be treated first to reduce its contamination. Water treatment is a set of operations that allow the removal of contaminants in water after its use. After those processes, the water is asked to consume or to pour in the rivers in a safe and sustainable way. In water treatment, it is necessary to evaluate and design the appropriate methods of treatment, analyze the performance, observe the operation, and determine possible alterations to increase performance of the systems. That's why chemical engineers have a special work in this process. The water that comes from the rivers has to be treated before it's consumed. The solids that are present in water are removed and then it's carried out a water chlorination to kill bacteria and other microbes. After that, water can be consumed safely. The drinkable water has to be in optimum conditions for human consumption. Then, from these water treatment plants, the water is sent to our homes through a pipe network. Wastewater is classified into two types, industrial and domestic wastewater. In many cases, industrial wastewater requires treatment prior to be discharged into the municipal sewerage system. The characteristics of this wastewater change from one industry to another, so the treatment processes are also highly variable. In Medellin, the domestic wastewater treatment is carried out in an activated sludge process that produces the organic matter before it's discharged into the river. Wastewater treatment processes Pretreatment In this treatment, metal grids are commonly used. Its function is to retain large solids that float or are suspended in the wastewater. It can be a manual cleaning or a mechanical cleaning. Primary treatment this process is held in a tank where heavier solids can settle to the bottom, while any lighter solids and scum flow to the surface. In this process, biological reactions are mainly carried out, in which the suspended organic matter is degraded and other elements such as nitrogen, phosphorus and nutrients are eliminated. The wastewater treatment systems are classified by process type. Physical processes is the removal of suspended material with grids, crushers, primary settler, thinners and filtration. Chemical processes is the application of chemical products for the elimination or conversion of contaminants. It occurs by precipitation, absorption, and disinfection. Biological processes. These are carried out thanks to the biological activity of microorganisms. It occurs with elimination of biodegradable organic substances present, elimination of nitrogen and phosphorus, and production of gases. <laughs>